The first day of school is rapidly approaching and several districts in New Hampshire are still looking for teachers. My district currently has four open teaching positions out of 21 for the upcoming school year. And without enough teachers, our class sizes will increase and this puts student success at risk. The pandemic caused upheaval and burnout and some teachers say they feel like state law is now looking over their shoulder in the classroom. NEA New Hampshire, the state's largest teachers union, believes the root of the problem is political. We're here today because Governor Sununu hired Frank Edelblue, despite having no background or interest in public education. The NEA is backing Dr. Tom Sherman for governor, but if he wins, the Rye Democrat faces a unique dilemma. Education Commissioner Frank Edelblue was appointed for another four-year term in 2021, meaning he could serve through Sherman's entire term in office. Sherman says his style is to work with people. But it's also to hold them accountable for their behavior. He would not be able to write an op-ed assailing our teachers without being held accountable for unprofessional behavior. The NHGOP responded to the NEA's endorsement of Sherman, saying, quote, Tom Sherman and the teachers union wanted New Hampshire schools closed and masks to be mandatory. When Governor Sununu rebuffed those calls, they attacked him. It's no surprise that the teachers union is now endorsing Tom Sherman, who will put their interests over students, parents and families. Sherman says one of his top education priorities as governor would be to repeal the freedom from discrimination law, which he believes has limited classroom discussions of certain important but difficult civic issues. There hasn't been a single complaint since it was put in place, but it's looming over all of the public school teachers. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.